you guys welcome back to say mojo homestead i am in the kitchen today and i was planning to add something to our dinner tonight and i thought i would bring you along and talk to you a little bit about it it's becoming kind of a common salad addition um, but we are actually adding some dandelion to our salad tonight the reason why i have this dandelion was is when we were cleaning up our garden bed and expanding our garden, I found this really big plant in our garden and I didn't want to waste it. So I decided to dig it up by the root and use it in our kitchen. The root it is just as beneficial as the actual leaves. So that's why I wanted the root as well. The root can be roasted and used as, used as like a tea. Um, it can also be eaten just like other root vegetables dandelion is one of those things that we kind of started first kind of foraging and and experimenting with like foraged foods so um it's something that we've had and add that we have added to our diet for a couple years now kind of casually it's not something that we eat all the time but when i find one that is a nice size or that um, when we're having a salad and I wanna add some extra green in there, I go ahead and I find one. So I'm going through, I did get this a few days ago, so there are some leaves that I need to pull out. I've soaked it and kind of washed it. It was in the soil and dandelions grow very close to the soil. They're right on the ground. So you really wanna make sure you clean them well because they truly do come very dirty. Um, but a lot of these leaves that are just older, I will give to our pigs or um, to the rabbit. They are rich in folic acid. They're also really rich in magnesium. And um, one of the things that is common with like people with ADD is they have a low magnesium level. And that is something that we kind of deal with in our home. I uh, have some ADD tendencies. I have some ADD and um, so does Sela. So I try to add those uh the magnesium wherever i can getting them from fresh fresh veggies is the great the best way for your body to process them the longer i lived here and the more i walked through these woods and kind of engaged with the land here the more i realized things that i consider considered to be le weeds as far as like a lawn or a meticulous yard um, are actually very beneficial for you and so our society uh, doesn't eat a lot of weeds, but there are a lot of weeds that have a lot of health benefits, medicinal benefits or um, health ben benefits that could be added to your food. Dandelion is cheap and free. <laughs> so dandelion is very sustainable. It's everywhere. I will say I do not forage anything that is not directly on my property. For example, in the um, as you leave our road there is a main road that is peppered with elderberry plants just tons of them however i know that they spray there i know that um there it's a tree line with power lines and they have to maintain the power lines so i will not forage any elderberry from there we have our own elderberry plants anyway and we get plenty um, but I will say anytime you're foraging, make sure you know the land that you're foraging on and you're not going to be putting chemicals in your body that you don't need. That is very important. Also, you probably want to make sure it's not a place where like animals are going to the bathroom and, you know, those kind of things. Um, so for me, foraging in my garden is the best place to forage and kind of outside the perimeter of where my dogs run. With the prices of the grocery store, you know, of things going up in the grocery store and the constant concern of, you know, what is in the food or where are they getting the food or how is it grown? This is kind of a nice way and free way that you can add, you can add some salad greens into your diet without even actually having a garden. I will say I've never had dandelion sauteed but sauteing them is another option. My favorite way to have them is to chop them and then do them kind of like a kale salad where you put a little salt on them because the leaves, especially older leaves, are a little more like your kale. They're crunchier, they're harder, they're not that 
uh, very tender leaf. Now, if you get a new one, they are more tender, but this was a big older plant. So what I'll do is I'll put some salt on there and I'll kind of massage the salt in there with some olive oil and get kind of those juices coming out of it. And then I will put more, a little more olive oil, probably some balsamic, and do it much like a kale salad. The other thing that we have done in the past is take the actual flowers and make tea. I wasn't a huge fan of the tea. However, I did, after doing some research, I don't know that I did it correctly. So that is something else I want to try again because of all of the vitamins and minerals and nutrients that are jam-packed in these plants. So if you're looking for ways that you can kind of supplement your grocery bill, learning about the native plants around you, what's growing around you, is a great way to do that. And there are a lot of really good foraging books. Obviously, you want to get something specific to your area. Dandelion is so incredibly easy to identify. There's also wild lettuce. So you could essentially have, like we have wild lettuce growing on our homestead. Wild lettuce is one that you do not want to eat the leaves when it's older and more mature. They're very tough, a little bit prickly. They aren't very appetizing. However, a young wild lettuce plant and some dandelion would be sufficient for making a giant bowl of salad for our family. And we literally put no effort into it, no money into it, nothing. It's just something we foraged on our land. You do want to learn to identify these, like I was saying. And a lot of times you can have like someone come out that knows wild edibles more than you and help you identify what is on your land and what's edible and what isn't. If you are looking for ways to reduce your grocery bill and still eat food that is natural and healthy and, uh, and your body can process well and has vitamins and nutrients and um, antioxidants, dandelion is packed full of antioxidants that help with free radicals. Um, it's just one more food that you can add to your diet for free that can help you stay healthy and live a healthier life. Literally every part of the plant can be consumed and is beneficial. My next thing I want to make with the, um, with the dandelion. So I found several in the garden as we were working. I want to use these in a salad. I want to use the root to make some tea. And then I did find some more and I would like to saute them and kind of do a taste comparison between these greens and like our collards or our broccoli or other green, brassica greens that we have growing. I think that it'd be really interesting. The other thing I want to try in them, try with them is um, using them like our other greens, brassica greens in like a soup form. So we will take our brassicas and chop them up and then we might add them to like a pot of beans or to a soup and um, it adds that extra green that extra uh, all those extra vitamins and minerals go into the soup i love having a green in my soup um, i like the contrast in the texture and the flavor it adds so i'd be interested also to see how these compare and not that i would ever want to totally replace our brassicas but i'm not opposed to kind of cultivate cultivating some more dandelion in our garden. I kind of already have because we do feed them to the rabbits and I don't intentionally pull them up. So if this does as well in all those other dishes as our traditional brassicas, I will probably, and Jeremy might hate this, <laughs> but I will probably try to encourage more to even, to grow even more, but maybe transplant them or try to have them more in, in more intentional garden bed spaces right now they're kind of in walkways and i mean they're dandelions they pop up wherever they want i would love to hear your experience with any of these uh, any wild edibles and any medicinal uses you might use for yours uh, we're really kind of green with um with that stuff and that is an area like i said i want to learn more about so i would love to hear your experience especially if you're in our area, the southeastern United States, I'd love to hear what you have found and what you like to forage and how you use it in your kitchen. That is all I have for you today. Thank you for hanging out with me in my kitchen as we prepare dandelion leaves. I hope you guys have a great week and be blessed.